Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the FPS++ graphics pack or as you may also know it, the 60 FPS mode graphics pack. I have created my own custom version of this graphics pack using some optimal settings I think will give the best performance for you guys. As always, this will be linked down in the description. The first thing we want to do is right click on it and click extract here. Let's move this aside and bring this into the play. Open up your CMU folder either 1.9.1 or 1.9.0 and drag and drop this file into your graphics pack folder. Let's now open this graphics pack and I'm going to show you some things that you can change. Open it in notepad and as you can see here I have changed the float value here from the default of 3 down to 1.2. This gives me better performance. If I scroll down the page here, you will see that I have added a semicolon to this line which basically turns off the auto enabling of GPU Fenskip hack which was giving us the milky water bug that people were seeing in game. I have this turned off for both versions 1.3.0 and 1.3.1 meaning that when you get past your shader compilation you are going to need to turn on your GPU Fenskip hack using either the options interface or pressing Ctrl, Alt and F at the same time. When we look at the bottom of each section you will see this experimental feature. You can turn on these experimental features by deleting the semicolon at the start and clicking file and save. You will also see it at the bottom of the other update right here. I don't want to use these experimental features right now so I'm going to click X and don't save. The next thing we want to do is launch our CMU app. You want to come up to options, graphics packs, expand this window and as you can see here we have BSOD Gaming FPS++ turned on. In my experience, there are issues with physics in-game for some reason when we use resolutions over 1440p, so I would advise that you guys only use a maximum of 1440p until the kinks are ironed out of this graphics pack. Let's load our game. Please remember that after your shaders have compiled, you will now need to turn on your GPU fence kit pack. And there we go, we are now loaded into game and our graphics pack is working as intended. As you can see, we are not getting the horrible stutter or character shutter that a lot of people are reporting. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, contact me over on Twitter if you have any problems in relation to my custom graphics pack, your CMU setup or any problems within any games, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.